Until You Fall is a rogue type of game. Before this video I didn't even know what that was. So a rogue game is a turn based dungeon crawler game where you have to fight your way through levels of a dungeon, picking up items and defeating enemies along the way. Until You Fall is something like that, but different. In Until You Fall you need to traverse a set of levels until you fall. Meaning that every time you die you start from the start of the game but stronger. And when you get strong enough you will end up at the end of the game, at the last level. It's kind of like an old arcade game, but this time every time you restart you get an advantage. When you get strong enough, your last playthrough should last you about 45 minutes, so even overpowered the game is still tough. And until you reach the end, you will die. A lot. You will see the same levels and the same enemies over and over again until you become strong enough and kind of learn the game by heart. In the game you will need sharp reflexes as the game is tough. You will need to learn how to parry, how to dodge and when and how to hit your opponents using the visual cues on screen. On the run you also get the option of choosing some temporary boosts, like the ones you see on screen. They give you the said advantage until the end of the run. You can buy and change weapons and upgrades. Weapon variety is not big, you get only 4 options, but each weapon has quirks. The dagger can inflict soul damage, which damages the enemy after you hit. The sword is more versatile and is easier to use as a shield. The two-handed axe deals more damage, but it's harder to block with it. And each weapon also has special abilities you can activate. There are only three bosses total, but what you get is beautiful. And surprisingly enough, you won't get fed up to see the same stuff when you repeat from the start the very same set of stages until you reach the end, for about 20 hours that is. The game can get frustrating and that frustration can make you forget about the fact that you are seeing the same levels over and over. So overall, if you are up to the challenge, this game is amazing. It is difficult and it can get frustrating, but it's a solid title that easily requires you around 20 hours to beat, so there is some solid gameplay ahead. Controls are great, visuals are great, everything is great about the game if you like the premise of it. And with practice you can get to epic looking gameplays, like the one you see now from Raider Reed. If you are into this sort of difficult games, you should give until you fall a try. Chances are you will love it.